Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Good job, here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here's my knee. One, two, here we go. Ready to stomp? We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to be reading some stories about bubble gum, chewy, gooey bubble gum. So bubblegum, we like to chew in our mouths and go Can you do that with your mouth? Like you're chewing on a big, big wad of bubblegum? Good job. All right, so our words of the day is going to be, are gonna be bubblegum, and we're gonna use that for our bread and butter rhyme. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bubblegum as fast as we can. Bubblegum, bubblegum, bubble, bubble. Bu Ooh, that's tricky. Can you say it really fast? Bubblegum, 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 bubble, bubble. Bubblegum, bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> bubblegum, 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 bubble, 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 bubble. That is so tricky. I hope you're doing better than I am at home. Bubblegum, 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 bubblegum. That's a tough one. That might be our toughest one yet. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bubblegum as slowly as we can. Bubblegum. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. It's a really nice bees in there. Ba ba. Bubble gum. <laughs> Great job. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bubble gum as loud as we can. Bubble gum. Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bubble gum as quiet as we can. Bubble gum. Good job. Let's see what our first bubblegum story is today. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is whipping outside and it's very noisy. Let's see, this is On Account of the Gum. On Account of the Gum is by Adam Rex. And I don't know if you can see what's happened to this poor child here, but they have all kinds of crazy things going on in their hair. And I think it might all be On Account of the gum. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, here they are. They're sleeping. Oh no, they're sleeping with gum in their mouth. That's not a good idea. Let's see what happens with that gum. They get up. Uh-oh, it's in their hair. Oh no. That's the gum right there. That's the gum that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still. And your sister said, duck. And you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck. Stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went on some websites and all of them swear that if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and you smear them along and I see. It appears that those websites were wrong. Oh no, look at them. Now they have gum, scissors, and two sticks of butter stuck in their hair. And it doesn't look like the gum's any closer to coming out. Oh, don't give me that look. Oh. Your aunt says she knew, oh yeah, your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in a paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. <laughs> Do you think that'll work? How will grass get gum out of hair? 
Uh-oh. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. Noodles and bacon? Oh, no. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Oh, no. What's happened to their poor head? Hmm. Wait. Your rabbit eats grass? Do you think the rabbit can get all that out? Well, your rabbit eats grass. Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us out there. But your rabbit just sat like it was a hat. Didn't really work, did it? <laughs> so I thought, I'll leave it and bring in the cat. Is that a good idea? Do you think the cat will scare out the bunny who will eat the grass? I don't know about that. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. You see the cat up top? We have a cat and a rabbit and we have bacon and noodles and grass and scissors and butter and gum. Oh no, what more could fit in their hair? Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch. She'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Wait, no. I was thinking of the old cat. Oh, no. <laughs> now they have a giant vacuum in their head. Can you imagine having the vacuum on top of your head? That would be so heavy. Oh, this poor child. Your aunt just came back, and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'd be coming around anymore. Though the cake that she made you, it wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. Oh no, is that child having the worst day? Look at the cake on the ground. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We'll blow out the gum with a powerful fan. Here it is. Plus, every few seconds, we'll pop a balloon. And the guy with the bees said he'll be here soon. And oh, I hear sirens. The firemen came. They complained when I called, but they came just the same. With their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili ready to... What is this plan? Ready to stop. Stop, says the child. Stop. None of this is working. Stop. Get out, please. Oh, get out, please. Here they go, bringing the balloons and the bees and the dog and the police and the firefighter. All oh, getting ready to go. Geez, how rude. See who this is? It wasn't just the police and the firefighters that listened to her. Look who else did. The gum. The gum can talk. The gum can listen. There it goes. So that's the solution? Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that is stuck in your hair. How are we gonna get that out? Whoops, now your aunt is also stuck in there. How'd that happen? I love the look on their face. Oh no, what a crazy day. Anyway, you'd better get ready for school because otherwise you're gonna miss picture day. On account of the gum. <laughs> the end. Great listening, everyone. What do you think about that crazy adventure? Do you think they'll ever get that stuff out of the hair? There's so many things stacked on top of the hair. Not even the things in the picture, but also a vacuum and an aunt, too. All stacked up on top of their head. Oh, no. I hope they could get out. <laughs> I have some bubblegum songs for us to learn. 
And one of them goes like this. We're going to clap along like this. It goes like this. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking our hands to our head. Uh-oh. What if there was gum on our head? Would it stick Would it stick our hands there? Just like in the story? All stuck? Ugh. Do you think we can get our hands off? Can you get your hands off your head? We did it. Good job. Should we stick our hands somewhere else? Here we go. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking our hands to our hips. Can you put your hands on your hips? Good job. But what if they were stuck there? Can we pull them off? Ooh, we did it. All right, let's try a different one. Here we go. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking our hands to our nose. Can you stick your hands to your nose? <laughs> Good job. Now, can we try to pull them off? Pull that gum off? Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, we did it. Should we do one more? Here we go. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Sticking our hands to our knee. Can you stick your hands to your knee? Good job. Do you think we can pull our hands off? Oh, that gum is really sticky. Oh, phew. We did it. Good job, everyone. Now I have another song for us where we're going to count up to 10. Do you think you can count with your fingers with me today? It goes like this. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Can you pop with me? Pop, pop, pop. Good job. Ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Excellent. Now let's pop the bubbles together. Can you reach your hands all around and try to pop low and high? Here we go, ready? Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. 10 little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Good job. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready to count with me? Can you get out your 10 fingers? Here we go. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Did you pop them with me? Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Good job. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Pop those, pop those, pop those bubbles. Ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Great job, everyone. That was fun popping bubbles with you. Now let's see what our second story is today. We have bubblegum, bubblegum. And I think you might even be able to see right from here what's going to happen with this bubblegum. We have another sticky, icky bubblegum, and somebody is stuck in it again. That crazy bubblegum. Bubblegum, bubblegum is by Liza Wheeler, Wheeler and illustrated by Laura Hasilka. Beef. Here we go. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Chewy, gooey bubble gum. Icky, sticky bubble gum melting in the road. Here it is. Look at all that bubble gum in the road. Along came a toad. A fine, fat toad. A fine, fat, wild, splat, wart backed toad. What do you think is going to happen to that toad? It looks like it's just about to step in. Oh, ew, yuck. The toad got stuck. Sticky toad, sticky toad, bumpy, icky, sticky toad, lumpy, grumpy, sticky toad, sticking in the goo. Oh no, poor toad. Along came a shrew, a bad mood shrew. Can you make a bad mood face? Mmm, a grumpy face. A bad mood, shrew. Good job. A bad mood. How rude. Tough dude, shrew. Ew, yuck. The shrew got stuck. Gooey shrew, gooey shrew. Pointy nose all gluey shrew. Stomping, shouting, fooey shrew. Can't get loose. Oh no, now there's two of them. One, two, stuck in the gum. Along came Goose. 
a wide white goose. A wide white, stuck tight, no flight goose. Oh no, the goose can't go. What happened to goose? Now we have the frog or the toad and the, and the shrew and the goose are all stuck. Oh no, gooey goose, gummy goose, want something yummy goose, sticking gummy tummy goose, can't go free. Uh-oh, along came, what is this? Along came a bee, a buzz buzz bee, a buzz buzz stuck fuzz bumbled up bee. What's gonna happen to the bee, do you think? Uh-oh, oh my, oh my, the bee can't fly. The bee stuck too, oh no. Bumblebee, bumblebee, roll around and grumble bee. Pull and kick and stumble bee. Just can't go. Now we have one, two, three, four stuck in the bubble gum. Uh-oh. Along came a crow. An old weathered crow. An old weathered gum feathered loud mouthed crow. What do you think is gonna happen to that crow? I don't know. I'm seeing a pattern here. I think everyone's ending up. <gasps> Wow, oh wow, the crow's stuck now. Oh no, talking crow, talking crow, loud and loony squawking crow, crying, cawing, shocking crow, every feather's stuck. Oh no. Along comes a truck. A truck. A big blue coming through Honk, honk, truck. What are they gonna do? How are they gonna get away? They're stuck in the road. What are they gonna do? Let's see. <gasps> and now the crow and the toad and the bee and the goose and the bad mood shrew must chew and chew and chew and chew and chew. Can you chew with them? Can you chew with them? They have to try to get all of that gum off, off the road by putting it in their mouth. Yucky, that's a bad idea. Chew and chew and chew and chew. What did they do? Phew! Bubble gum, bubble gum, light and lifty bubble gum, nifty, drifty bubble gum floats toward the sky as the truck drives by. Phew! They're up in the air and safe from the truck. Ah, oh, maybe this is a chance to relax. One perfect bubble bobbing through the air. Along came a bear, a big bottomed bear, a big bottom swat got him, burly black bear. Pop, pop. Oh no. Now the crow and the bee and the goose and the shrew and the fine fat toad must hide from the big bottomed bear with his nose in the air and his great wide mouth open wide. He's getting ready to eat them, you see? Do you think he's gonna get to eat them? We'll see. But what happened? Bubblegum, bubblegum, chewy gooey bubblegum, icky sticky bubblegum, there's enough to share. Hey bear! Oh, what luck, the bear got stuck. I guess they're not gonna get eaten today. That bear is stuck. Hmm, along comes a hen, a red ruffled hen, and here we go again. <laughs> The end. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. What do you think happens next? Do you think that hen gets stuck in the road too? Maybe even some more animals? Or maybe some, some bugs or a spider gets stuck? Maybe you can write your own story today about some animals getting stuck in some gum and figure out a way that they can escape. <laughs> Though that's the story of Bubblegum Bubblegum. Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to finish up with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Do you think you can get on your feet and get ready to dance with me? Here we go. 
Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Can we do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you for singing and reading with me today. And head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> I had a wonderful day with you today and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye.